inspired by the Paranormal Rangers. One of them's a retired cop, one of them's still active. And they work for um, the uh, Navajo Reservation. They didn't know that it covered Colorado, Arizona, New Mexico. And uh, that's all stuff. Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado, Utah. But um, yeah, they presented a haunting, their investigations with hauntings. Um, Bigfoot, the theory of Bigfoot, uh, UFOs. And it was, um, no, it's re it's refreshing, man, to see um, <clears throat> uh, to, to see a perspective on shit that I don't know about. Um, you know, like, can I tell motherfuckers, man, I need to go out there and fucking travel and see the world, and and if not, at least see across your fucking state, man. Dude, I've been told some some amazing stories, and I think only a stupid ass, weak, little minded bitch, small thinking coward, think, oh, tell me, tell me, tell me. You know, it's one thing when um, I'll share my stories with um, someone young. Someone, um, you know, around the age, the age of eighteen, you know, where they're barely understanding how to wipe their ass properly, or barely uh, have enough human capital to learn how to flip a fucking burger or a scrub a toilet, and uh, you know, people who are just ignorant. No, and I don't mean dumb or stupid, I mean ignorant, ignorant as to what, what's out there in the world. And, uh, and sharing my stories with them, but if you're a supposed adult, supposed woman, supposed man, and you're fucking, oh wow, oh wow, ooh, 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 tell me, tell me. Now I think you're a fucking moron. Why don't you go out there and learn for yourself? Go explore for yourself. <clears throat> I like um, sharing uh, not just my rewards and benefits from my travels, but my stories uh, with people that I care about. You know, not simply just to gossip. It's funny because sometimes I think it's pathetic when people just want to know. I'm thinking, you know, that, that doesn't inspire you to go and find out and learn. You know, for me, uh, shit, whether it's a TV show or a movie or uh, someone who's uh, traveled a bit, hell yeah, I'm inspired by by it. I think, man, you know, it makes me curious, because eventually that curiosity, it, it's a seed, and I think, man, I wonder how they went there, man, and, and eventually calculate how I can travel, how I can do that, how I can explore, how I can try, how I can fail, how I can succeed, how I can grow.
all I can travel and I can do. <clears throat> With all these topics of the unknown, um, you know, what do you know? What do I know? And on the scale of the universe, I know squat. Not even 1% of squat. Not even 0.01% of squat. Um, when compared to the size and scale of the universe and I'm not I'm not I'm not saying either oh my goodness I'll never know the the whole truth everything I'll never know the meaning of life I quit I give up what's the point no but simply uh the thing when people acknowledge you know what I don't know I don't know let's find out And because <clears throat> because I think you could be a weak slip of cut and use shit, use knowledge, mislabel it as um, inspiration or motivation, and use it as um, um, what's it called? Uh, what's that? Sh- that shit when you're um, starting a fire instead of a log you know where you can you would just use um, shit as a experience as um, I'm getting lost for words here just say a dead tree you know Smart motherfucker could chop it up. Wait till it dries out. Chop it up. Turn it really fine. And, uh, you know, uh, turn it into little logs. Start a fire, fan it, put rocks around it, and use it as fuel to cook to keep warm. More light. And there's other people that will just look at the dead tree and just be like, man, I'm so cold. Oh my goodness, someone should uh, give me a blanket. When that dead tree, you know, that's, I, I believe many people use that. Use, pe- use life like that. You know, instead of um, seeing the Inspiration, the momentum, the growth, the insight, the wisdom, the seed. Like, oh man, that's cool. All right, man, let me just continue being a weak, stupid, fucking lame ass motherfucker. Keep running my same program. And uh, just wonder, yeah, one day, one day, someday. Again, some day is not a day on the calendar. Uh, last I checked, all the calendars that I've looked at, I've never seen um, something that says someday. Just me. And I think uh, I used to follow, listen to the lectures a lot about Sam Harris. And, uh, But he's a great example of being book smart, thinking you're knowing, believing bullshit. And yes, I do like the way he dissects and dismembers the Bible, finds all the hypocrisy uh, within it. Um, without the, within the Vatican, throughout the Vatican, Islam, Shia, Sunni, Shia, Alawites. And all sorts of other shit. But then he ruins it by saying, yeah, Hillary Clinton is an honest fella. Forget the Clinton Foundation, Russian money laundering with the aid of the State Department. 
forget the murder of Seth Rich. Um, forget the rigging of the DNC primaries. Yeah, forget all that. We can trust her. Again, yeah, knowing something, supposedly knowing something, isn't everything unless you apply it. There's some fucking more I was telling me. Yeah, I already know that. And I thought, you know that? You fat, weak motherfucker. You know that? You miserable, Monday hating motherfucker. You know that, huh? Even with as much uh, Rick and Morty stuff as they've drawn, I still don't know the the style of this animator. The animators that are that work on this program. I may have an idea, but you know, I don't know. It's a lot I don't know about drawing, painting, airbrushing, acrylics, oils. <clears throat> there was a link to um on the YouTube another video recommended I believe the channel's JC Johnson that's a um the dude who um I think he's still uh, within the four corners mysterious four corners or something like that supernatural four corners and getting stories from um from locals of, uh, of um, little people, aliens, uh, skinwalkers. You know, even cooking a steak, you know, you could, uh, I like looking at different, um, YouTube channels or asking different people on how they prepare their meat, their barbecue, their marinades, um, you know, we waste so much time just putting up stupid pictures of us pretending to be active. And I think, no, you're not active. What have you done to um, make yourself, your environment, your day effective, your life memorable? And I think a lot of that is based off what we know. You know, because I think a lot of us are like, yeah, man, I just want to spend time with my family. Yeah, man, I just want to, you know, take the weekends off. And and for what? Why, why would you want to do that? I get this whole theory about having fun, taking it easy, relax. Um, I think only weak, stupid motherfuckers uh, say that. Weak, stupid, selfish motherfuckers. Weak, stupid, naive, selfish cunts think that. And I say that because... You know, there's people that, that critique me for... Um, saying, you know, I don't give a shit about the homeless. And uh, you don't either. <clears throat> no, man, I do, man. Because, you know, I got a heart on my cue. And I say, you're probably the same type of motherfucker that will walk alongside me to another club. 
another bar to a restaurant to the Home Depot and walk by all these homeless fucks just begging for money and fuck them fuck those motherfuckers you know fucking um, go collect cans recyclables and make something happen Versus someone who says, uh, oh, I like this post on Facebook. Oh, let me send them a prayer. Fuck that. Stupid, lazy fuck. Fucking liar. Coward. Punk. It's my train of thought because... You know, what certain things I want to do in life. Which I don't know. Um, which I don't know how to properly, exe properly execute. And I'm still getting after it, man. Um, let see my train of thought thing about these greens here. Light source. I have things in life I don't know exactly how to do or execute, but that doesn't mean I'm going to stop or stop in my tracks. I realize that I don't know much. And I don't mind learning as I keep going. Even baby steps, inches, centimeters. As long as it's going forward, there's progress. I think God, that there should be no shame in doing that. That, does also, that also doesn't okay just to be, uh, oh man, I'm play it safe and invest the minimum amount of time, money, resources into um, reaching my goals. And before you know it, you do what uh, most people do, which is uh, reach that midlife crisis. And man, I coulda, woulda, shoulda. There was someone saying that I was going through my midlife crisis um, <clears throat> back uh, when I was around 20 years old and I said yeah man I, I realized that, that I'm that my time here is limited that there's fuck man so much to do I've seen so many um, amazing people and you know and I, and I can't follow every path And it's, uh, you know, it's um, decisions and choices. And no, no, uh, no backup plans, no safety nets. Whatever, live and learn. It's called Lick Your Wounds.
That's it for now, motherfuckers. Get after it. Go forward. Reflect. What do you think you know? Do you actually know it? Do you think you know it? Are you applying it? Trump 2020.